so hot right now. Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and you may have noticed I've got a haircut and a little bit of a clean shave. My wedding is this week, so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as my fiance seems to. But today we're gonna be talking about some new rumors about Revenant Reborn. There seems to be a completely different build with new legend abilities, and today we're gonna discuss is that actually coming? Is there any truth behind it? And what you guys need to know. We're also gonna give out 45 bucks. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So there's a brand new insider leak that has come out about Revenant Reborn and some of his abilities and a lot of people are questioning it. So let's go over the abilities first. There's a passive which has been changing and the way that it functions is basically the same as his original climbing passive. However, additionally allows him to highlight low health enemies. There's also his brand new tactical that allows him to super jump to a targeted location similar to the Vantage tactical and the silence has been completely removed, which does actually line up because we know Seer is actually getting a silence ability with his new rework that's coming for the new collection event. So that does make a little bit of sense. And his ultimate still uses the totem or at least the model of it. But instead of turning into a shadow, Revenant gets health and shield regeneration upon knocking and killing an enemy. And a ton of people are incredibly skeptical about this. Now, the source of this does come from iLoot Games and it's a brand new Rev leak. And I feel like a lot of people when this got posted to like Reddit or something were like, no, nah, this sounds fake. But if you had actually watched the video, you would know that me and iLoot Games actually talked about this. And he made it pretty abundantly clear in his video that he has a playtester that he gets information from and I do as well and the great thing about playtesters is that they usually have different builds of the game and the final product of what we get usually ends up being a combination of the two or whichever one that respawn thinks is going to work better I can't actually confirm that there is a different build of Revenant Reborn and that iLoot Games is 100% correct with his inside information whether or not that makes it in as a final product we will not know until we actually get to see it the original leaked abilities that also came out were his passive devil jump along with a tactical hook shot which has stayed relatively the same as what I loot games has and the ultimate void grenade which creates a one-on-one -on -one fight but we know that that has actually been scrapped the tactical hook shot also lines up to what we've gone over before with the phantom leak which was in the season 12 legends where the legend phantom was a play test for revenant before even me or i loot games ever saw him where he could go ahead and shoot out a slingshot and instantly grapple to it it also had the void grenade but something that people really need to understand when we get early information about things is it rarely ever ends up like what the final product is for instance catalyst original abilities as you can see here her passive was a reinforce which actually allowed her to build these blocks on top of each other and her ultimate was more like a horizon ultimate with the catalyst goo that just lifted her straight in the air and took damage and there's a ton of other examples of this ballistic our newest legend instead of having the tactical with the smart bullet is actually just a turret that you could actually equip any of the weapons that you had on right now onto the turret and it would fire automatically at the enemy they don't actually go over that that in depth with it but originally you were able to equip your third sling weapon to this turret but it's very clear now that that has changed another huge huge one going back to that catalyst is scryer actually shows an ability where he puts up a giant wall that blocks all cover look familiar yeah that got turned into catalyst ultimate ability so things in game development change all the time what you get some inside information on is a hint or a teaser into what is actually going to be the final product but in almost every situation there are quite a bit of changes and it's not just with inside information for instance we saw the brand new revenant reborn models along with what his new skins look like we see the animations we know that it is coming it's in fact known as Revenant Reborn in the game files. And Kral Rindo was the one who let us see all that. That we actually don't know exactly what this skin could be for. It could be a prestige skin. Yes, but unlikely. Could it be a stories from the Outland skin? There is a high chance, but those skins don't get full new animation rigs, which the Revenant Reborn one had. Could it be a base model rework? Maybe, but there's nothing about it in the files. So while Revenant Reborn, it seems like an awesome new way to rework a former legend. There are going to be a lot of changes before we see what actually ends up coming to the game. And I imagine it'll be quite different from what anyone has actually expected but i will say that it is going to be coming it looks like in season 18 and there's going to be a lot of lore drop at the end of the season that should get us ready and acclimated to it so do get ready for that let me know your guys' thoughts down below on how you think revenant reborn will impact the upcoming season and which one do you hope gets the actual abilities don't forget to check out this new video by my editor novel where he breaks down what it's like to actually edit for my channel and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands and i'll see you out there